Then Allah Azza wa Jal says after this, فَالْمُلْقِيَاتِ ذِكْرَى They bring people into contact with reminder. These winds bring people into contact with reminder. Just a few reminders that I want to share with you that these winds bring about, if you reflect upon them. Winds, they're causing a cooperation between the heavens and the earth. The clouds are moving in the heavens, and the rain is falling on the earth. All of it to serve who? Serve the human being. Allah is showing just by means of the winds, that He has given, it's a single leadership, it's a single chain of command. It only comes from Allah, they're not under separate leaderships. It shows the purpose of creation. One of the great reminders of the ayat, the purpose of creation. How everything comes and cooperates with everything else. All as a favor to me. Right? Reminds you of your own purpose. If Allah has created all of these things with such purpose, then I, I must have a purpose too. So even wind reminds me of my purpose in life. It's a profound reminder. And then the second reminder that the winds carry, you know, I give you an example. If you left your pet in the house without giving them water, you forgot. You come back after the whole day. Your pet is at whose mercy? At your mercy. Until you take a little drop of water and drop it in their tongue, they're begging for it. Whether that animal scratches you or damages your property or listens to you, doesn't listen to you, in the end they submit to who? To you. As wild as they can get. As wild and rebellious as human beings can get. If Allah does not give us these sips of water to drink, where do we go? There's nowhere else. We are we're more pathetic than the pets we think we own. We are more powerless before Allah. It is a reminder of the Lordship of Allah that He's letting you drink these sips. This water is not your product. You can walk about arrogantly on the earth, but if He doesn't send that mercy from the sky, where are you going to be? It's the Lordship of Allah. The winds are reminding you of Allah's Lordship over you and me. And the second powerful reminder, so these winds deliver a reminder. The winds are a reminder of resurrection. These winds come, water comes from the sky, the earth is dead, and what happens to the earth? It comes back to life. Dead becomes living. Because and now every time the rains bring life to the earth, we are reminded that we will also die, and we will also be in this earth, and just like the earth is giving out vegetation, it will be giving out human beings on the day of resurrection. It's a reminder of resurrection. All of that reminder starts where? If you just reflect on what? The wind. Subhanallah, فَالْمُلْقِيَاتِ ذِكْرَةِ